January 2, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard January, 2001 The Fed's decision to hold rates steady sent longer-term mortgage pricing downward by about 10 basis points. Current rates start at 6.625% for 5-year terms and nearly 7% for 10-year maturities. 10-year treasuries surged to the biggest one-day gain since October, offering the lowest yields in nearly two years. Longer-term treasury rates witnessed the biggest monthly drop, by as much as 50 basis points for a five-year term. The net result shows that mortgage spreads are higher by more than 10 basis points. Substantially lower rates are accompanied by tighter amortization and underwriting restrictions. February 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard February, 2001 Despite wide movements in Treasuries last month, rates are slightly higher, nearly 20 basis points, since the end of 2000. With a slowing economy lurking, loan proceeds often supersede rates as main underwriting concerns. Available since 1959, the one Treasury bill was eliminated by the Treasury Department based on declining interest in this maturity. The Fed's job of 50 basis points was less than many expected. Swap spread pricing over treasuries is rapidly gaining popularity as the benchmark for CMBS lending. This formula eliminates many risks associated with treasury spread movements in pricing mortgages. March 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard March, 2001 Rates and spreads remain somewhat flat, dropping nearly 10 basis points versus the previous month. The Feds decide to hold a steady course on rate adjustments as signs of economic slowdown are less evident. Strong mortgage spread competition continues for multifamily and lower leverage properties of all classes with 190 basis points serving as the most competitive spread. Such metrics translate to interest rates starting at 6.5% or more. May 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard May, 2001 Very favorable short-term rate drops continue as Libra and short-term treasuries fell by about 40 basis points. Longer-term rates remain nearly unchanged from the previous month. However, lenders are selectively lowering spreads to maintain market share and capture higher quality projects. The Fed dropped the benchmark discount rate by a half percent to four percent. Conversely, 10-year treasuries increased by about 10 basis points as inflation fears continue. The yield curve differential approaches the historical norm, in contrast to the inverted curve seen over the past few years. July 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard July, 2001 Realty capital markets remain relatively calm. Life companies are competitive on rates, while mortgage conduits tighten spreads for higher leverage deals. 
For instance, 80% loan-to-value loans are priced within 20 basis points higher for office properties versus multifamily assets, an insignificant pricing differential. The Fed's sixth rate drop within the year at 25 basis points disappoints many investors, since a 50 basis point level was expected. Nevertheless, bond yields and mortgage rates are virtually identical to a month ago. August 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard Dash August, 2001 Once again, relatively little change in the mortgage markets. Longer term rates dropped by a quarter percent since the end of June. Meanwhile, short term rates are lower by about 10 basis points. Commercial property loans are priced with floors as low as 6.75%. Overall spreads are relatively unchanged during the past few months. However, loans below 10 million dollars are typically priced about 10 basis points wider. Rates hit the highest levels since the beginning of June, as mortgage rates did not fall enough in response to the Fed's action as capital markets expect a recovering economy. September 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard Dash September, 2001 Despite a slowing economy and cautious realty equity markets, the past month witnessed a flurry of downward interest rate moves. 30-day Libra dropped by nearly 20 basis points, as did 5- and 10-year treasuries. Overall spreads range from 185 to 250 basis points over comparable term treasuries, translating to rates of 6.25% or more. To no surprise, borrowers favor short-term debt. Libra floating rate debt is priced at least a full percentage point lower than longer-term fixed rate debt. Also, 5-year mortgage rates are nearly a half percent lower than the 10-year benchmark. October 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard – October, 2001 Our prayers and thoughts are with the 9-11 family and victims. The Fed announced a 50 basis point drop, reflecting the lowest rate since February, 1994. 30-day Libra dropped by nearly 20 basis points, 5- and 10-year treasuries followed suit. In response to dropping rates, mortgage refinancing volumes soared to the highest levels of the year. Even though markets shut down for a number of days, lenders are returning back to normal. Overall mortgage spreads increased by 10 to 20 basis points. Rate floors of 6.5% to 7% are common for fixed rate mortgages. Floors are expected to eventually disappear if long term rates continue downward. November 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard – November, 2001 October closed as a very favorable month for borrowers waiting out the mortgage market. Treasuries dropped by nearly 40 basis points across the board. 
Since much of the drops occurred during the past few days, the mortgage market response is yet to be fully assessed, including new floors and debt service coverage ratios. The Treasury Department will stop selling 30-year bonds, directly cutting long-term interest rates. The 10-year Treasury bond is now the undisputed benchmark. The bond market reacted with a huge rally, sending rates to their lowest levels in three years. Mortgage markets remain stable and active. Long-term mortgage spreads increased by 20 basis points. Short-term rates increased by as much as 50 basis points. However, the net effect yields lower rates, as Treasuries and Libra dip to record low levels. In response, lenders are revising loan floors to as low as 6%, in an effort to protect minimum yield preferences. December 1, 2001 The Real Estate Capital Scoreboard – December, 2001 As the year closes, overall interest rate spreads range from 200 to 280 basis points over comparable term treasuries, translating to permanent rates starting at just over 6%. November closed as the most volatile month of the year. Ten-year treasuries bounced nearly a full percent, settling at levels close to pre-9-11 indices. Libra dropped by nearly 12 basis points, while Bank Prime bottomed out by 50 basis points. A wild week in the bond market just before Thanksgiving. Favorable economic news increased Treasury rates to levels not seen in nearly two months. During this time, the Fed also cut its rate to 2%, the lowest in 40 years. This change represents the tenth such decrease this year.